Coming behind you. I'm behind you. The fuck out the way. What's going on YouTube, Ryder and Jazz here. We're gonna switch it up a bit today. We're not gonna go that way, we're gonna go straight. And what we're gonna do is go to a park that I haven't been to for a while. But because uh, sunset comes like at uh, 5.30, I'm going to make a little detour today. This would be a nice way. I oh, probably could go that way. We just go straight to make a ride up here. Left work like three minutes late, which is unacceptable. We had a meeting that ran to five o'clock, a little before five. But you know, I gotta change before I leave work, so. By the time I actually clocked out, it was like 5.03 or whatever. But anyway, you know, with a vendor that was trying to come and sell us some stuff. And they had some good stuff, man. They had some pretty, pretty good stuff they wanted to sell us. See, look how bright it is right now. I'm not even using ProTune or anything like that, which is great. ProTune is cool, but I'm not a huge fan of it, you know. But it's definitely cool. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll give ProTune that. And now, we roll into BQB traffic. <laughs> This is like dangerous as hell. Like I shouldn't even be on the left because I know all these cars are turning left. But you know, uh, man, the green, the green, <laughs> light just turned green. But at least I'm on the right lane, you know, so. Oh wow, they actually paved this. Did they pave it? Yeah, yeah, they did. They did pave this last time I was here. All right, cool. I don't think anyone's coming my way, coming in this lane, because everyone wants to turn left to get on this highway right here. You get a beautiful view of uh, the financial district skyline. Look at this Tesla at 12 o'clock. Beautiful car. I think we're going to make a right here. And this is where all those cobblestones are. Jane Carousel, I believe, is over here. Which I wanted to go see. Which I think is this way. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I should've made that right when I cut out. But whatever. Ducati NYC, he's a motor vlogger. Does the same shit I do, but on a motorcycle. Go subscribe to him. You know, he rides on these cobblestones like every day to work. I doubt we'll see him today because, you know, he leaves work pretty early. Like, oh, there's a casa. Like, even when it's like the, the like dead winter, I think he's like on his way out or like leaving for home with the sun still out. As opposed to me, sun is already tucked in for about half hour already. But the days will get longer, and right now it's like about 45. It's sprinkling just a bit. You know, wipe that off. Oh, this is a nice shot right here. I've actually never been here before. I don't think so, at least. Beautiful view of the East River going into the estuary, which is on our left. Oh, this is such a beautiful view right here take my phone out. Uh, can I see the building I'm working? No, actually I don't even think, yeah, I don't even think I can see here from where I work. Wow, we rode three miles already? Holy shit. 
flying out there. Yeah, this is a very, very cool area. Just gonna take a couple more pictures. It's always a helicopter up here. Anytime I cross the bridge on my way to, on my way home. Always. I don't know. I don't know. So my girlfriend and I, you know, I mentioned before. I no, I never mentioned this in a vlog in the live stream. Um, the first live stream that get around these people. So I mentioned that I'm. I've, I'm probably gonna go to Vegas in September and my girlfriend was like oh I should come with you and you know that wouldn't be a bad idea but the thing is it's you know it's like a, a work thing so I don't know how much time we'll get to spend with each other you know now I'm like all right we should just probably we should just probably uh, take a vacation somewhere and that, you know, like, not like, I don't know what the word is. Leech off my job to pay for the airfare and some of the hotel. But I was thinking like a three-day cruise, something simple like that. They didn't even shovel the snow properly for us. I guess they kind of did it here, but still, give me a break. This place is really cool in the summertime, man. It's like the River Cafe or something like that. Really nice spot in the summer. So these love locks, is this is that what this is? These love locks. They cut them off the Brooklyn Bridge actually. I think like a month or so ago I was riding and a couple guys had those long bolt cutters. I know that didn't seem so long thanks to the wide angle lens, but they they were cutting it off. Which is uh hmm, you know. I guess you shouldn't be putting locks on public property. But it was kind of funny that meeting today at work, um, you know, we had this vendor, and the vendor asked us something. If, if we're going to get some, I'm not going to say what it is, but if, if we're ever going to get blank, and like everyone started laughing, oh, motherfucker, there's some nails sticking out, but I went right through them, got lucky. Um, yeah, so he asked if we're going to get this piece of technology ever. And then someone said, yeah, we're going to get it. I don't know if it's going to be in our lifetime. And then someone was like, haha, maybe in Javin's lifetime. And then I'm like, oh, ha, I, I see what you did there because I'm the youngest person in the room. And, you know, that's the point I wanted to get across. But generally speaking, in a lot of these meetings I'm, I attend, I don't know if I have talk, I, I have talked about this. Like, I'm always in some damn meeting at work. And I'm just like, can I, can I, can I get a little work done? Thanks, man, thanks. And I'm in a meeting with, like, higher up. Like, today I met, like, a really high up guy from my job. I don't know what this bus guy is doing. He was kind of leaning in on me. Anyway, I met a high, pretty high up guy. My boss, 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 boss. <laughs> That's how far we had to go up today. I met him, had no clue how this guy looked, never met him before, told him what I did, and he was like, oh yeah, really? Alright, cool, I'm, I'm glad to hear that, and I'm glad that you're working on it, I like your work. But so, it's, it's funny, because, you know, we have to write these weekly reports, and, I'm, and I asked my boss one day, my director, hey, do you really think these higher-ups really read this crap? I, I didn't say crap, right, but I'm like, do you think they really, they, they really read this stuff? And she's like, you know, they at least skim it. Maybe they don't read it in, in full detail, but they at, they at least skim it. And all these weekly uh, reports are archived. You know, you can always go back and reference them. What did we do back in October, even though it's mid-February? And I was like, you know, I never thought of it that way. And I have a pretty young person way of thinking. Like what you do today happens today. Only, only works for today. Something I've learned over the last few months working here. What you do isn't necessarily for today. It could be for a month or a few months down the road. 
We're on Court Street right now in downtown Brooklyn. I was just here on Monday. Went to Trader Joe's. Let me know if you go to Trader Joe's on Court Street, man. It's a pretty interesting place. Filled with nothing but hipster workers, which is interesting. A lot of cops out here. I gotta be careful breaking the red. Don't know if you saw the vlog the other day, but um, a cop was driving a taxi cab. This fucking dickhead here. Yo! Fucking dickhead, man. Started coming back right on me. Or left, I should say. Alright, guy, I don't got time for you today. It's starting to drizzle, man. I mean, I don't mind taking the, uh, the detour. But uh, we gotta rock and roll home here. But yeah, have anyone been in that position? You know, I know a lot of my viewers are a lot older than me. Great portion of y'all are, you know, in your 30s and 40s, some even in your 50s. But have you ever been that young guy, and, and, and a new young guy at that, sitting in, sitting in meetings where decisions are made? Fucking terrible ass street. Well, we're gonna make a left here anyways. Yeah, it's interesting being that guy, being that young guy. It's not always fun though, because you might get thrown into, into some situations where you're like, I don't really know how to handle this. But it's all good practice, I guess, right? <laughs> Shit, I kicked that car. <laughs> Oops. My bad. So this is the way we usually come, and we usually make the left turn right here. So now we're like back on schedule. And of course, this light is red. I can never catch this light ahead of us. Oh, these kids are just running across the street and never look. Bro, you almost got hit by that car, man. You ain't see that cop car? I did. You almost got hit by that thing, man. Oh, you and all your friends there. Huh? I made it. <laughs> this guy's just like, oh, I made it. You're not always going to be that lucky, man. I know people who weren't always that lucky.